I think there's a long history of a problem with um, nuclear weapons. Right from the very start of the Manhattan Project, some scientists began to wonder about the ethics and the reasons as to why they should be doing it and whether it was appropriate. If you have a militarized society which is developing weapons of mass destruction like uh, nuclear weapons, it's clearly very, very serious because it can distort and divert the research enterprise. So there are some forms of uh, nuclear weapons research that might actually be beneficial and positive in that they could be used to prevent and reduce the threat of nuclear weapons proliferation. Um, but beyond this, I think there's a kind of wider issue about the capture of universities and science by the military-industrial complex. Um, so we've got to look beyond just nuclear weapons research, but the influence that the weapons industry and the military sector has over science and universities in general. The problem for universities is to decide which of the many uh, projects which uh, the Atomic Weapons Establishment proposes uh, would meet their ethical criteria for being acceptable projects to work on. The British nuclear deterrent is uh, an entirely unnecessary relic from the, the Cold War era. We could safely get rid of it as soon as possible and that would be of considerable economic benefit as well as sparing us the moral issues that it gives rise to. I think one of the really helpful things that this report has done is to shine a light on something that is vaguely known to be going on, which is the level of funding from into UK universities. It's drilled down into what that looks like, the extent of it, and the number of universities involved. And it seeks to make some recommendations as to how universities should base their own ethical response to that. What it does for me, and it's really important, is to take this out of the zone of morally neutral and put it back into the zone of morally charged. There are moral implications at every stage of involvement in the nuclear weapons story and anybody sitting in a comfortable ivory tower or a comfortable lab somewhere in UK academia thinking there are no moral or ethical implications in terms of the work they're doing, they better think again.